Hello and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. So hello parents and toy collectors, it's a good pal Oz and today we're going to be reviewing the Imaginex DC Super Friends Series 7, I'm pretty sure that's what the 7's there for, Series 7 um, blind bags. Now as you can see on the front there, there's six characters to collect. Um, there are also codes in that top left hand corner, I don't know if you can see it, oh there we go. The three there, so there's codes at the top there. And what I'll do is I'll go through each of these and kind of put a list in the description down below for who is going to be in each bag going off the code. That way, if you are going to buy these yourself at the shop, you can look at the code and make sure you're not buying one that you already have. Or you can kind of choose. Like if you only want to have, uh, who's that, uh, Killer Moth, then you can just go for whatever number has Killer Moth without having to worry about getting the wrong guy. Anyway, so I'll put that in the description down below, but for today's video, we're gonna go through all six of the easy bags and look at the new characters in this new series. And I think this series only came out about two weeks ago, maybe one week. Um, so yeah, so they are, they are brand new. So uh, anyway, enough ramble for me, let's just get straight into it. We'll get the first one here. Um, so this is number six. Don't know if you can see that. Number six. I currently don't know who they are, so I'm gonna just take note of the numbers as I go. Um, so, first up, we have... Ooh, I dropped a sword. Um, <laughs> I don't know, who is this guy? He's like one of the uh, ninjas. This, he's like a cool ninja. I have seen him in the cartoons. He's like a henchman. Like, there are a ton of them in the like, uh, League of Assassins, I think they are. There we go, Talon, that's the name I'm thinking of. So we've got a Talon, or Talon. I don't think that's his name. I think there's a lot of those ninjas. Um, they kind of hang out with, uh, is it Raj al Ghul? I'm not sure, but yeah, he's, he's it's like one ninja and there's a lot of them fighting against like Batman sometimes. Uh, but very cool, his name is Talon, or he is a Talon. Hey, check out the back. He's got like this cool back holster. Very nice. We'll chuck his swords in there. Now, I've noticed that a lot of characters in this series are quite, um, uh, what's the word? Just, they're not very common characters. They're not characters you'd see a lot. Like, they wouldn't have been in Blind Bag Series 1 because, like, it's kind of like the scraping the bottom of the barrel a little bit now where they're kind of getting across some characters that you don't see very often. Uh, but still cool. And it's kind of good that we're getting some rarer characters around. Now, uh, check out articulation. Got the normal legs going up and down. Uh, his arms can go only that high, so he can't touch the sky, but he's still pretty cool. Pretty inflexible for a ninja. Does his head move? No. But it's very cool that he comes with these two swords, which just easily clip into his hands there. Very good. Okay, so there's the first one. Okay, now let's clean up, get that out of the way. So that was six, so let's go to this next one here. Get the scissors out. So this was three. Okay, now who's this gonna be? Oh, it is, oh, what's his name? I think he's Killer Wasp. Cause I know the series comes with Killer Wasp and Killer Moth. So we'll spin him around. Cool wings, they don't come off. Not the pretty wells attached on there. Um, and I don't, again, I don't know anything about Killer Wasp. I do know that he is a baddie. He has some sort of affiliation with um, Killer Moth. Um, but yeah, he's one of those kind of villains that isn't really around much. And he's got the same um, kind of energy balls that he's holding in his hand as Dr. Doom had. But these ones are blue instead of yellow. But uh, very cool. So he's doing some sort of energy attack, I'm guessing. But uh, yeah, it's very weird. Or oh, he's been handcuffed. Who knows? But that doesn't, wouldn't make much sense. But I don't know. I don't know much about this character, so it's hard to explain that weird accessory. But check out his face. Cool patterns on his legs there. Check out his back. Very cool. Oh, and head spins around. Oh, very easily. Very loose head there. There we go. Okay. Put him next to Talon. So that is Killer Wasp. And I'll quickly show you this just to see what we got here. So we got Killer Moth. We got a Batman with a gun, which is weird. Killer Wasp, he's the guy we just saw. Uh, Bronze Tiger, Talon, and Wildcat. So that's the checklist. Now let's go into the next one. Thank you, Bruce Wayne, for holding it up. Cut through here. Now we're up to, oh, I cut it off. Now this is number four. Now this is 
A little red man. Oh, look at that. That's who we have found. Wasn't focusing. There we go. So this is a boxing bag. And if the boxing bag is here, then I know who we've got next. Now, I think his name is Wildcat. I've already forgotten it. I saw it a second ago. Yeah, Wildcat. Very cool. So this guy was a pro boxer. Um, he trained Batman back when Batman was just like beginning to be, well, when you're still Bruce Wayne, kind of learning how to be, how to all the different types of fighting. But this is the guy who taught him how to box. Uh, somehow, I can't remember how, somehow he got some powers. Um, and the power he got is called Nine Lives. Uh, and it doesn't mean that he can repeatedly die nine times. It just means that he stays young and youthful. And maybe, maybe he's immortal. But yeah, he doesn't age and he doesn't get like all old and stuff. So he's probably been around for a very long time. Uh, but very cool. I do like him. He's usually like kind of funny. Quite silly in the cartoons I've seen him in, but yeah, you can't really get that from his face. He looks kind of serious. And you got this cool boxing bag. Okay, there we go. And put that back there. That's a big accessory for him to have a boxing bag. Um, okay, now next up, I really want to tear these, but you can't. Now this is number five. Okay, we have now Bronze Tiger. So. I'll need to see him without his accessory first. Now, Bronze Tiger, he's got no superpower, unless you call being a tiger a superpower, but he's just very good at Kung Fu, or karate, or martial arts. We'll just say martial arts. Um, and we'll give him his cool nunchucks. They need a bit of oil, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit stiff there. Uh, but there we go, Bronze Tiger. So again, a very, oh, I can't remember the word, oh, I wish I could remember, but yeah, a character that you don't see very often, um, and yeah, maybe just like in one or two TV shows back in the day, or in the comics, but yeah, definitely not a main character. Okay, so next up, let's get Bruce Wayne out of the way, we don't want to be confusing who's new and who's old. Okay, now, next we have a I think this is number four. Now this is Batman. Now he's got a army pants on with knives. Oh, he's got kind of goggles, which look very cool. Uh, his eyes and face is a little bit different. Where's a, where's a Batman? Uh, I've got a lot of Batmans, but none of the new ones within reach. This is, this is an older one here, just for comparison. But I don't have one of the newer ones. Not, not here. We're not without me having to pause the video. But uh, he looks very cool. Weird pants, weird choice of pants. There is a Batman from an alternate reality who uses guns and he's very uh, kind of scary and brutal. Um, and so this could be that Batman, except he has a big trench coat, whereas this guy's still got the cape. So that's a little bit confusing. Uh, here's his gun here. Now it looks like a grappling gun, but it's a huge grappling gun with like a sniper, kind of like a scope on the top for those really hard to reach buildings. <laughs> you have to have use a scope. Uh, but yeah, it's, I don't know why he's got such a big gatling, um, grappling gun, but uh, it's still a little bit, it's still cool, still looks cool. Maybe it could doubles as a sniper rifle, but it would be weird for Batman to have a sniper rifle because, you know, he doesn't like to use guns. Anyway, we'll put Batman over here. Now, very last one. Let's get rid of Joker, Red Tornado, out of the way. Now, let me know in the comments below who's your favorite character so far, or if there's any other like uh, Batman characters or or DC Comics characters that you want to see um, come out in the figurines. Because there must there mustn't be many that haven't been done yet, but there probably are some that you really like. Anyway, here we have Killer Moth. Now, Killer Moth is one of my favorites from when the uh, Lego did the um, I think it was the Batman Lego movie. And Killer Moth was my favorite from that series. Just because he's so colorful. Check him out. And he's got wings just like Killer Wasp, but orange. He comes with this kind of wacky gun. Maybe, maybe it shoots moths at people. <laughs> that, would be, that would be horrifying. Getting like moths all shot into your face. Uh, but there we go. His hands rotate. His head rotates. Pretty cool. I love his mask. <laughs> I love his stripy pants. Very cool. Okay, so there we go. So we've opened all six characters. Like I mentioned before, I'll put the um, names down in the description below just to help you when you're at the shops. You can quickly pull up the video, refer to the description, and find out which character you're going to get. 
Um, but otherwise, let me know in the comments below if you like this video, uh, what characters you want to see, or if there's any other toys you want me to open up. As you can see, I've got the two new robot, Roblox collections on the side here. We've got Series 9 and the Celebrity Series 7, which I'll do hopefully this week, maybe next week, because I've still got some other things I need to review. Um, but if you like this video, let me know by clicking the thumbs up like button. Subscribe if you have not already subscribed, and you want to make sure you don't miss out on future videos or lose this channel amongst the billions of other toy review channels. Uh, but guys, until I see you next time, thank you for watching. Have a great week. Take care of yourself and I will catch you next time.